Hello everyone, welcome to Motion Boat. In this video, I am going to create this clean and stylish text animation inside Adobe After Effects using very simple techniques. So without more ado, let's get started. I already have this text layer here. I am going to pre-compose this layer. Now quickly create a new shape layer and creating a circle here. Something like this. Go to the effects and presets and search here wiggle position. And let's drag this on this shape layer. For now, let's turn off this text layer. Make three copies of this shape layer. Let's arrange them to something like this. And now I'm going to change the colors. This is looking good for me. Let's pre-compose this animation. I'll call this gradient. Let's go inside this. Create a new null object. Link these four layers to the null object. Press R and hold the Alt key and press here on this stopwatch and right here, time star 100. Look at this, looking pretty good. Now I am adding a new adjustment layer on the top. Add fast box blur on this layer and increase the blur radius. Okay. And go to the main comp. And let's select the text layer as track matte for this gradient. We need to scale this up for a little bit. Looking good. I am going to add a white solid background here. Now let's make this effect more interesting. I am going to pre-compose these layers, call it effect comp. Let's add a glow on this. And I am going to make these changes here. Look at this amazing liquid gradient. You can use this gradient on any shape or logo. For example, I'm going to make one simple shape here. Going back to the effect comp and let's scale down this gradient. This is looking cool. That was our first effect, stylish liquid gradient text. Now let's move on to the next. Here, I have already made this. Let's pre-compose this. And I will call this text dis. And I'm gonna create a new shape layer I have selected here the radial gradient and open this gradient editor. Make sure this opacity is set to zero. And okay, adjust this gradient to something like this. Let's open this gradient editor and add another point like this. Okay. Let's pre-compose this layer, I'll call it bubble. Okay, now turn off this bubble layer and create a new adjustment layer. Let's add CC glass effect on this adjustment layer. Open this surface tab and set the bump map to the bubble comp. You can see this little distortion here. 
set this to mask and increase the height amount. Okay, now go to bubble comp and let's add a very minimal animation. This is looking pretty good. Now I want to add some color distortion. For this, I am going to duplicate these two layers multiple times. So now we have three sets. Select these three text layers. Search here, Channel Mixer. Add this on selected layers by double clicking here. Select this first layer. I am keeping here only the red channel. On my second, I am keeping the green channel. And this bottom one is the blue channel. Select these two layers and set the blending mode to add. Look at this, really cool looking distortion effect. Open this bubble comp. Let's make the duplicate layer and change the animation. To something like this, create a new adjustment layer here and add turbulent displace. Okay, now let's add the fast box blur effect. Check this now, looking good. Now, to make this effect more precise, let's add adjustment layer and add camera lens blur effect. Here in the blur map, select the bubble layer and increase the blur radius. Look at this nice distorted effect. Looking amazing. Pre-compose this. Add gradient ramp. Add some noise. And done. This is looking cool. One of my favorite effects. Let's create our next animation. I have the text layer. Open this animation tab and add the position. Quickly change this position like this. Add opacity, set it to zero. Open the range selector, add a key here, set it to zero. And here make this 100. Select both keys. Press F9 and adjust the graph to something like this. Now, add a rectangle mask on this text layer like this. Increase the mask feather. Now search transform here and add it to the text layer. And let's skew it.
Let's adjust this mask a little bit so that I can see my text formation. Now duplicate this layer, delete this mask, and place this here. Again, duplicate this bottom layer and bring this text to here and make this mask to reverse like this. Change the top text color and arrange these bottom layers. To something like this. Now on the top text layer, let's add scale animation. Press F9 and adjust the graph. Now I am gonna add glow on my top layer. Good. I want this scale animation to start right after the text formation. Looking superb. So these are the super clean, easy text animations you can create. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked the video. What do you want to watch in my next video? Please comment below. And subscribe to my channel for more interesting motion graphics videos. I will be back soon with another exciting video. Till then, stay connected and keep supporting.